Welcome! My name is Henrik. I'm also known as the Swedish hockey card collector. In this video, I will give you my take on the top 10 NHL goalies of the 90s. I would also love to see your take on the top 10 NHL goalies of the 90s in the comments. Number 10 on the list is Bill Ramford. Ranford emerged as the starting goalie of the Oilers at the end of the Edmonton dynasty. In 1990, he led Edmonton to win the Stanley Cup and was awarded the Conn Smythe Trophy as the MVP of the playoffs. In 1991, Ramford was the starting goalie of Team Canada in the Canada Cup. He went undefeated throughout the tournament and was awarded the MVP of the Canada Cup. In 1994, he was awarded the MVP of the World Championships when Canada won the tournament for the first time since 1961. Number 9 on the list is Kirk McLean. Captain Kirk was a very important part of the Vancouver rebuild in the late 80s and early 90s. He was one of the last stand-up goalies and used his big frame to stop the pucks. McLean reached the peak of his career in the 1994 playoffs when he led Vancouver all the way to the Stanley Cup final. Despite his great goaltending, Vancouver eventually lost the finals after seven games against the New York Rangers. Number 8 on the list is Curtis Joseph. Cujo never won any trophies or Stanley Cups during the 90s. However, I think he was a great goalie and I love the snarling dog on his mask. Cujo was a down-to-earth, lovable workhorse goalie who always thrived under pressure. Number 7 on the list is Mike Vernon. My biggest memory of Mike Vernon is from the deciding game in the 1989 Stanley Cup Final. Vernon was run over behind the goal by Russ Cortnall. A then 11-year-old Henrik was furious at Cortnall's conduct. Now, back to the 90s. Vernon played great in the 1997 Stanley Cup playoffs and the Red Wings won the Stanley Cup for the first time in 42 years. Vernon won the Conn Smythe Trophy as the MVP of the playoffs. Number 6 on the list is John Van Beesbrook. JVB is without a doubt the goalie with the most iconic mask of the 90s. He started the 90s in the New York Rangers but ended up being Florida's starting goaltender after the 1993 NHL expansion draft. JVB performed amazingly in the 1996 Stanley Cup playoffs. His great goaltending was a major factor when the Panthers reached the Stanley Cup finals. Unfortunately, Florida lost in four games to Colorado. Number 5 on the list is Ed Belfour. Eddie the Eagle had a great start to his career in the early 90s. He won the Calder Trophy and the Vesnia Trophy in 1991. In 1991-1992, Belfour led the Blackhawks to the Stanley Cup Finals but lost in four games to the Penguins. In 1993, he won the Vesnia Trophy for the second time. Belfour finished the decade in style, winning the Stanley Cup with the Dallas Stars in 1999. Number 4 on the list is Mike Richter. 
Richter played his entire career with the New York Rangers. He reached the peak of his career in the 90s and led the Rangers to victory in the Stanley Cup in 1994. Richter's style of play was acrobatic and lightning quick. He had great reflexes and amazing focus. Unfortunately, injuries ruined part of his career and eventually caused him to retire from hockey. Number three on the list is Martin Brodeur. Brodeur was one of the NHL's best netminders in the 90s, and then he completely dominated in the 2000s. He used a hybrid style of goaltending by combining the stand-up style and the butterfly style. Brodeur was also known for his great puck handling. He won the Calder Trophy in 1994 and he won the Stanley Cup with the Devils in 1995. Number two on the list is Patrick Roy. St. Patrick was without a doubt one of the most popular and outstanding goalies of the 90s. He was incredible in the 1993 Stanley Cup playoffs and the Canadiens' victory was largely due to Roy's stellar goaltending. Roy was traded to the Colorado Avalanche after Montreal's controversial record loss to the Red Wings in December 1995. He went on to lead the Avalanche to their first Stanley Cup victory in 1996. St. Patrick also won two Vesnia trophies and one Consmite trophy in the 90s. Number one on the list is Dominic Hasek. The Dominator ruled between the pipes during the 90s. His unorthodox style of play and his unconventional saves increased his popularity. Hasek used every part of his body to stop the puck and he always gave it his all on the ice. The Dominator won five Vesnia trophies and two Hart trophies during the 90s. Thank you for watching my channel. I'm glad to be able to share my passion for hockey cards and the NHL with you. If you also love hockey cards and the NHL, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I post content related to hockey cards and the NHL several times every week. To the next time I see you, have a nice day and take care.